Hello everyone, it's me, Mungri, and I haven't talked to you guys for a little bit, but we are going to be doing this channel update today, and I'm not really well organized at all, so I'm going to be flying by the seat of my pants here. I didn't have much time to get this ready, and I wanted to update you guys on what is going on with the channel and stuff. Before, I talked about all the different problems with YouTube, and I'm not really going to touch on that so much. I will say that the flagging of the videos has gotten better so that is a very big positive it's not completely gone it still happens but it doesn't happen as much which is really nice and i guess i can jump right into it my plans with the channel this year are a lot different than in previous years i will be pretty much ending let's plays in a few months now that doesn't mean I won't come back to Let's Plays in the future, but it's unlikely that I will come back to Let's Plays in the future. It kind of depends on a few things and just kind of how life goes, I guess. We'll just leave it up in the air for now. It's not for sure set in stone that it's done, but it's looking like it's halfway out the door or probably like three-fourths out the door. It's almost totally out the door. So... I have two more Let's Plays left that Ethan and I recorded this last summer, and I'm finally getting around to editing them. They take forever to edit. Editing just in general takes forever, especially when you're trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff on the side, which I have been doing, which I will jump into in a little bit. But for the Let's Plays, they're probably going to last until April, I would say around there, maybe a little longer. And that is me uploading just on the weekends. I've been... Just uploading on the weekends now because I've noticed that more people tune in during the weekends and during the week it just kind of feels like a waste. Now that doesn't mean that I won't occasionally upload a video during the week, but weekends are going to be my primary upload times. So, there is two left, two Let's Plays, and that's, that's it. That's all I have prepared. That is probably going to be the end of the Let's Plays like I was just saying, so definitely... Watch them and enjoy those while they last. And I'll jump into how you can help out with the Let's Plays if you want to help out and if you want to see more in the future and stuff. Because I had a good question. We're also going to do a Q&A at the end. I had a good question from someone that I noticed asked about that. So I'll jump into that at the end. So I want to mention where I'm kind of headed my direction for this year. I am going to be making more produced videos. Some are going to be along the same theme, but some are going to be different. I've already produced, or by produced I mean made, record, wrote a script for, you know, like all that, all that good stuff, edited, did all the, the filming, live action stuff, and, and video game filming for two different projects. And I think they turned out really good. I'm really excited for what is to come. These are going to be way more produced. So the quality is going to be a lot better. I don't really have a good comparison on who I can compare them to. Because, you know, it's my own unique style and stuff like that. But, I mean, if you want an idea of, like, the production value, I'm kind of going for, like, you know, like more of a JonTron style or like a peanut butter gamer if you guys know who they are they do like a bunch of reviews so they produce their videos a lot more there's a lot more like edits and different just clips in the videos so that's kind of what i'm going for obviously not as high quality as theirs because they've been doing it forever and they have way better equipment and better editors and stuff but i think what i've done so far has turned out really, really good, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys when the Let's Plays are finished. And I'm going to be using this time to edit the rest of the Let's Plays and to work on more of those. Now, the first two ones took me about two months. Now, that isn't two months of working on those videos straight. It's two months just in time because of other stuff going on in my life. And I'm focusing on other stuff in my life as well because I'm very excited for my streaming if you guys haven't come over to twitch to check out the live streams i definitely recommend it it is a lot of fun if you like let's plays twitch or just live streaming in general is the way to go like it's it's the future of let's plays because you guys can hang out and chat with me and i can chat back with you guys right during the playthrough and i sit down for a couple hours and play 
a whole bunch of different games. And I've been focusing on streaming almost every day during the week. And I start about anywhere between 4 and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I stream till like 11 or 12 at night. And it is a ton of fun. I encourage more people to come over there. I'm actually going to show you. Let's go ahead and cut over to the Twitch tab on my desktop here. So right now you're seeing Twitch and I wanted to show you guys how this works. This is just the homepage of Twitch. You can search for your favorite streamer or you can like type in backslash mongery for me up in the URL, but I'll just put mongery here and then see I'll come up and then you can click on my name. This is how you would get to my channel. I'm hosting uh, one person that I follow right now. His name is Slade. He's playing some Fortnite. So you can host different people. Uh, it's just a good way of, you know, kind of like just helping out other people and stuff like that. But you can come over here. You can either subscribe to me. That is a paid subscription thing. That way you get no ads and you get like emotes and it's a good way to support the streamer. You can also, I can't follow myself, but up here there would be a thing that here I'll just go to. I'll just go to a random channel that I'm not following. You can browse by game. We'll just go with Star Fox. Actually, that's awesome games done quick. That's going on right now. Let me go someplace else. Let me just go League of Legends. Click on this guy. And then there's a follow button. So I could follow him if I want, and then you can turn on the notifications or not. So a notification when you would get it in your email. But yeah. You can see how many people are watching somebody down here. There's, you know, 23,000 people watching this guy. And then you can chat over here in the chat and just hang out. So once you follow someone, you can click your follow up here. And then once you follow me, I'll be up here. Following is completely free. Anyone can follow completely free. So these are all the people I follow. I'll click over here on Spark Waffle. As you can see, I go here. I, can, I still have the option to subscribe to him. And once I followed, I got the heart. So yeah. Here's his chat. People are hanging out. He's playing some Mario Maker. So that's kind of how Twitch works. It's a lot of fun. I recommend people coming over and checking that out. Super easy to come to. I'll leave the link in the description below so that you can drop a follow if you want. There's also an app in the App Store. You can watch it right on your mobile device. All right. So let's get off of Twitch now. I think that's it for the kind of update. I guess I can update you guys more in the future on how things are going with that stuff. I could really use your guys' help. You don't have to stay for the entire stream when you come on over, but just come on over, say hi some nights. I do play a lot of retro games, and I know that's not like a huge appeal to people on this channel because I haven't really played that in the past a ton on here, but that's my jam. I love retro games. I get to play what I want and what I really enjoy over on Twitch, so that's some of the reason that I really love being over there and hanging out with people in the chat. It's just a lot of fun too. You don't necessarily have to enjoy a game someone's playing as long as you like the streamer. There's a bunch of streamers I watch. I don't like the games I play, but I just like the community and their personality and I just like chatting with them. It's a lot of fun. So I recommend trying out Twitch if you have not. So next we're gonna jump into the Q&A. Cue the intro. You are watching So Mungry's Soundwave Sunday. All right, all right. We're not going there. That has been retired. And a lot of people asked me in the Q&A if we were going to go there. So we're not going there. We're not going there. But I'm not opposed to doing another Q&A series in the future. Although I'm not going to do that right now because I'm focused on other stuff. And if you have any questions, you can really just come over to my Twitch stream and ask me. So let's jump into the Q&A section. I'm only going to answer a couple questions that makes sense. I already told you guys that Let's Plays are pretty much done, so I'm not going to answer any questions asking me if I would play like a specific game or not. So what do we have for our first question comes from Caesar Aguilera. What do you do when you're not on YouTube? Well, I pretty much work on my projects that I've been working on the last couple of months, and I got a bunch planned for the future, and I also stream during the evenings for like six or seven hours usually. So that pretty much takes up my whole life with YouTube. And then other than that, I like to sleep, eat, and watch a couple shows. The show that I'm currently watching that I really, really, really love is Vikings. If you like history and you like 
awesome battles, Vikings is for you. Super good. Super, super good. All right, next question comes from Janky Anmins. Are you done with Transformers? I don't know. Probably, maybe, I don't know. It depends on if they make a console game, because then I would play it on my stream. I'm not sure. I, I, I liked the old games a lot, but I just don't like the direction of the new games. So, most likely. Can you do movie reviews or a Rise of the TMNT review? That comes from Reggie Martin. Movie reviews are tricky, because that's copyright territory and i don't really want to deal with that i would like to do that but it's just so risky on youtube just so risky so probably not our next question comes from afen tx do you have anxiety for the future of your channel <gasps> somebody give me a paper bag no but for real i do of course this is the biggest change that i will be bringing to the channel ever i've never went away from just straight gameplay videos and went into a more produced style of video and I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it I'm hoping you you will stick with me a lot of time and effort is gonna go into these videos I like what I have done already and I cannot wait to share it with you guys in a few months and I'm hoping that I can get a whole bunch of stuff done with when these let's plays are going on because I'm hoping to bring out a, a produced video every week for you guys one every week it's gonna come down to just being one video a week when that happens. I didn't mention that before and I should have, but these videos take a long time to make, so you'll understand why there's only one video a week once you start seeing them. And I'm hoping to make at least 10 or 15 of these. I, I know that's gonna be really hard by the time the Let's Plays are finished, but that way I will be able to get out one every week for you guys and continue to work on them so that hopefully I won't miss a week. But if I do, you know, you know stuff happens, so. I'm very excited about the future of my channel, but of course, I'm super nervous. All right. Some of these questions asking me who my favorites of uh, some stuff are, so I don't read the comics, so I can't answer this one by this guy, but Dale Lash asked me who my favorite Autobot is and his favorite Decepticon, Grimlock, and Starscream. And then Eric White says, Eric, what is the... Okay. That's that. And let's see what else we got here. What was your least favorite game last year from Beer Us Please? What was my least favorite game last year that I played? Probably Ukulele. That thing was like a disaster after the first two worlds and was just super boring. Next question comes from Spooky D-Man, has there been any new games that has caught your attention that you would have thought about doing a playthrough of? Well, if I do any new games, they're going to be over on my Twitch stream, like I said. I haven't had a chance to look at a lot of new games. I do plan on playing the remastered version of Shadow of the Colossus over there and Okami when I have some time. That's on my bucket list. But I haven't really had a chance to look at a whole bunch of new games. I've just been so busy just trying to cross games off my bucket list on my stream and working on these projects and then also editing walkthroughs and stuff. And our last question will be from Hillbot98. What else do we as your subscribers need to do to help you keep wanting to upload videos and more walkthroughs? That's a good question. Now, I didn't say Let's Plays would for sure be done forever. I will look back on my Let's Plays to see how well they have done. So if you wanna help the Let's Plays and stuff like that, anytime you watch a previous video of mine, please leave a thumbs up or heck, leave a thumbs down if you don't like the video. Any rating is better than none. So definitely leave a thumbs up on that video. Also, Twitter, Facebook, and does anybody use Google Plus anymore? If, if I don't know, some people probably do, but any shares on those would help a ton. If you follow me on Twitter and you see I upload a video, retweet it, or just, you know, tweet it out yourself. There's a share button underneath the YouTube, uh, like share, I don't know, it, it looks like a share button, it's underneath the YouTube video. You can click on that and do it. All that stuff helps a ton. A comment on a video helps a ton. Even if it's just like, 
hey, nice video, or something like that. Helps a ton. So all that stuff, a little bit of effort from you guys on the Let's Plays when you watch them, if you just remember to leave a like and stuff, it would help a lot, like a lot. If everybody would have did that in the past, I probably wouldn't be in this boat right now. I probably would still be doing Let's Plays because just leaving, like, if I just, I should say, just getting a bunch of likes on the videos help it in the search engine on YouTube. So that would definitely help. Also, if you want to help more, come to the Twitch streams. I know, like, it's not the same and you can't watch stuff. Well, you can watch stuff on demand over there, but it's like long hours, obviously, because it's a whole stream. And but coming over there, hanging out, saying what's up, even if you don't stay the whole time or just stay for a couple minutes, it or just stay for the whole time if you want. It's it that helps a ton as well. And also, what else would help? Let me see. Oh, being a patron. If you if you can afford to be a patron, obviously I have a channel patron goal. Uh, I'll put a link for my patron in the description. And if we reach a certain amount of money over there, Let's Plays are guaranteed to come back. It's a goal over there. Guaranteed. But right now, I just can't afford to invest any more into Let's Plays on YouTube with how the algorithm is working. I think I'm better off trying to do these produced videos and just hopefully more people will tune in to the produced videos because, you know, it's more of a production and it's like more of like a TV show. It's, it's just well done. I'm hoping for better things and like more views and stuff on those in the future. Also, one other thing you can do is watch the whole video. YouTube is big on watch time. So don't just click on the video, watch two seconds of it. Even if you just want to watch two seconds of it, leave it play in the background or something or come back to it later and watch the whole thing. It, watch time matters a lot now on YouTube. There's a lot of different things you can do to help. And you never know, I might be back with Let's Play someday. So all that stuff would definitely help. Whew, this has been a long, long channel update. So I hope I covered everything. And if you guys have any questions for me, definitely let me know in the comments below. There's more than likely a chance that I missed a few things. So I will update on the community tab on YouTube more often, I think, these days. And other than that, I think that is all. I hope you guys have a good day. Once again... Don't hesitate to ask me any questions you have in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!